it's Corey from Super Kami Guru 9000. Can you believe it's almost 2015? 2014 went by in an instant. And it got me thinking that this was probably the biggest year for the Naruto franchise. The manga ended, the anime is still going strong, there's a brand new movie called The Last. We have all these brand new video games which are being announced, there's a Naruto Part 3 coming out, there's a new movie coming in 2015, and it's still going. And I was trying to decide, am I going to do a top 10 favorite chapters or favorite anime episodes? I just decided that this year was so big for Naruto that this is going to be my top 10 favorite moments from the Naruto franchise in 2014. That includes everything, the manga series, the anime series, video game spinoffs, just freaking announcements alone could make the list. And I just want to go through them real quick with you guys so that you can enjoy them as we go into 2015, which is going to be another strong year for the Naruto franchise. So without further ado, these are my top 10 favorite Naruto moments from 2014. Yo! My number 10 choice is going to seem a little strange, and that's because it's One Piece, chapter 766. Yes, the legendary pirate manga has snuck its way into my top 10 Naruto list, but it is Naruto related. You see, chapter 766 just happened to coincide with the final chapter of Naruto, and the creator of One Piece decided to pay his respects to his great rival by giving us a great cover story. In the cover story of that chapter of One Piece, you get to see Luffy hanging out with Naruto. And not only that, but there's a lot of little Naruto details all over the cover story. Just the fact that Luffy is eating Naruto's favorite food, ramen, and that Naruto is eating Luffy's favorite food, which is basically just grilled or roasted meat. And then you have Nami there, who's wearing a dress which has the Konoha symbol all over it. There's a cute little fox who's sitting there in the corner eating ramen. And just the actual title of One Piece itself looks a little different, where Luffy is replaced by Naruto in the middle, and the actual O in One Piece is replaced by the Konoha symbol. It's a real classy act from the creator of One Piece, and it was a pleasant surprise. And even in the final chapter of Naruto, the creator himself, Kishimoto, decided to pay respect to One Piece by putting the Straw Hat's Jolly Roger right on top of frickin' Mount Ninjamore. That is classy as shit. Yo! My number 9 choice goes to Naruto Manga Chapter 682, which is probably one of the more controversial chapters of the final arc of the series, but frankly, I thought it was refreshingly hilarious. This was the chapter where Naruto finally tricked the ever-powerful Kaguya by turning into a gaggle of naked men. It's hilarious, it's unpredictable, and it actually managed to make the final villain of the entire series seem like a complete joke. And she still kinda is. Despite that, I still think it's one of the most fun and ridiculous chapters that brought to mind memories of the first half of the Naruto series. Yo! My number 8 choice goes to the announcement of the Naruto Part 3 miniseries. This one I'm still kind of mixed on, but I still have to admit I'm very excited for. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with this series because there's so much potential for it. Being that it is going to be a miniseries and not a full-fledged long one, I'm curious if they're going to focus on the character of Boruto or just the other side characters, if Naruto is going to be related, is there going to be the possible return of old villains like Orochimaru that seems to be in the rumor mill currently. All I know is I'm excited for part three and I can't wait to see what it's going to bring. Yo! My number seven choice goes along with my last one, and that's the announcement of the Boruto movie, which is going to be a brand new Naruto movie coming out in 2015, right off the heels of the last Naruto movie, and I really hope it's going to be able to keep its quality, because all of the previews that I've actually seen from them at last just make it look so incredibly gorgeous, and I really hope they put all of that attention, love, and detail into the brand new Boruto movie, and I really hope that it does the whole part three, like, manga story justice. I hope it actually ties into it, and hopefully expands on it a little bit, and hopefully just not a straight adaptation. Otherwise, I'm excited. I cannot wait to see the adventures of Naruto's son, Boruto Uzumaki. Yo! My number six choice is Naruto Shippuden, episode 345. 
Otherwise known as the episode where Obito goes completely batshit crazy and decides to destroy a lot of Miss Ninja going on a rampage in his swirly Zetsu outfit. This was one of the best episodes of the entire anime series, period. It adapted the manga version really well, it had a lot of intensity, the animation was frigging fantastic, and I could literally rewatch it every day, and I love the voice acting from young Obito. I really wasn't all too happy with the fact that they decided to change the voice actors for young Kakashi and young Obito, especially after we saw them in Kakashi Gaiden. However, after seeing the voice acting from that Obito in that episode, I'm convinced they did a fantastic job, and I cannot wait to see more from the rest of the series if they're able to keep the quality just like that. Definitely one of my favorite chapters, and one of my favorite episodes of the entire series. Yo! My number five choice is Guy vs. Madara. Period. That's all it is. I haven't even seen it in the anime version, but seeing this unfold in the manga version of Naruto was just awesome. It was so good because... Madara was so annoyingly unstoppable throughout the entire series. I mean, it was already enough that he was an immortal zombie and then he became the Jinchuriki of the Ten Tails. Guy vs. Madara is without a doubt, I think, one of the greatest battles in the final part of the series. And ultimately, it ends up crippling Guy. It ends up being the reason that he's going to be wheelchair bound for the rest of the entire series. So, it's a pretty big moment for the character, and really when they get to it in the anime version, I really hope they do it justice. They have to. It's easily one of the greatest moments of the entire series, and is really the penu-ultimate moment for Guy. It's just badass. Yo! My number four choice is another battle from the Naruto manga series. It's the final battle. It's Naruto versus Sasuke. It's what we've all been waiting for. Everything comes to a head and everything explodes. They exhaust all of their most powerful techniques on levels that we've never seen before. The landscape is literally getting destroyed around them. And then it finally ends with one of the most symbolic endings to a fight I've ever seen. Not only do they both lose their arms in a massive attack, but I just love the symbolism of the Madara and Hashirama statue hands coming together and just, it just, it tears me to pieces, man. It's definitely one of the greatest chapters of the entire series. It's got great artwork. It's got great action. It's got some of the greatest hand-to-hand -hand combat that I've seen in the series and some of the most brutal. It's one of those manga chapters that I really hope honestly ends up being the best episode of the entire series. I pray they put their best people on that episode and they really do it justice. It better look like a freaking movie. That's all I gotta say because those moments are just so important. And even if it's not good in the anime version, the manga version will exist forever and it is still amazing and is really one of the greatest battles that Naruto and Sasuke have ever had. Maybe the greatest. Maybe they'll have more in the future. Maybe a few sparring matches, I really hope, because it was just an incredibly exciting battle. And definitely, I think, the best battle of the final part of the series. And you should definitely check it out. But let's face it, you're a Naruto fan and you've already checked it out and you know it kicks ass. Yo! My number three choice is the announcement that the last Naruto movie is coming to U.S. theaters. I still cannot contain my excitement for this. Just the prospect of being able to see this movie in a theater with a group of hardcore Naruto fans is just going to be exciting. You can already feel the energy and we're not even in the theaters yet. People are going to be cheering for their favorite moments. Whenever a character appears on screen, everybody is going to start freaking out. Fight scenes are going to make people explode, and I cannot wait to see it happen. It'll also be a big moment, because it'll be the first time I'll have ever seen a Naruto movie in a theater, aside from like in an anime convention. And it'll be the first time I've seen it without previously seeing any real big footage of it before. It'll be completely fresh, and it'll give us, the fans, an opportunity to actually support the series directly and let them know we want more of this, and we want more of this in U.S. theaters. It's an exciting time to be a Naruto fan, and remember, they are going to announce you can pick up your tickets sometime in mid-January, and that's coming up. It's going to be released on February 20th, the last Naruto the movie. Holy crap, I'm excited. Yo! My number two choice is Naruto Shippuden, episode 375. Kakashi versus Obito, the final battle between the two. It 
really blew me away. I didn't expect it to be that good, and it was one of those manga chapters where I read it, I was like, alright, that was really good. I thought that was a really well-handled battle. The artwork was amazing. I didn't think it was anything that they were going to give a lot of attention to in the anime version, and when they did, it completely blew my mind. It looked really good. It had some of the best hand-to-hand -hand choreography, some of the best camera movement that I've seen from the entire series, and it just kept going and getting better and the intensity of the battle was really what just made it because it was Kakashi versus Obito. This is Kakashi's ultimate opponent. This was the biggest moment for both of these characters and yet the series is not yet over. So I cannot wait to see if they're going to be able to top the quality of this episode and let's face it guys, we know they're going to so there is a lot to look forward to and this is just another one of those incredible episodes of the series and my favorite episode from Naruto Shippuden this year. And now my number one choice is the final chapter of the series. Yes, I know it's a little cliche. It's the final moment. It's the one that stuck with me the most. But still, I'm just amazed by the entire events of the final chapter of the series. Just being able to follow the series for so long and watch these characters grow and literally, you know, grow up from kids and form families and have children. It, it's weird. It's hard to put into words. It's something that's going to affect people on a lot of weird and different levels. And it literally feels like a family. Like, it feels like it's a part of my family. And I know that's strange because it's just characters on paper. But still, I think that just shows the powerful nature of the Naruto series. And the final chapter was great because obviously it was all in color. We got our very first glimpse of what future Konoha is going to look like with all the big skyscrapers. We got to see the kids of all of the main characters, which I still think it's a little strange that they basically look like little clones of them. But, you know, whatever. It's not the first time that a series has done that before. I mean, just look at Dragon Ball. But uh, another thing that I really liked about the final chapter, though, is that it still left it open for more. There's the possibility that something else could happen. It has a good ending, and it still has, like, a good, you know, ending space, but it's like, insert next arc here. It's kind of like in Dragon Ball Z, where they just sort of end with Goku and Oob just sort of going off and doing their own thing. Who knows what the hell is going to happen later? And that's what's going to be happening right here in Naruto with part three coming out. It's going to involve Boruto and the other family members. I wonder if uh, Himawari, who is uh, Naruto's daughter, is going to become a ninja. Maybe she's just going to become a normal living person in the village. There's so many possibilities for what's going to be happening in part three. And the final chapter just really left it open for that. I already mentioned they did that nice little classy homage to One Piece. And just, it was just great seeing all these new characters. It literally felt like a new beginning, despite the fact that it was the end of Naruto. And I thought that that was really clever in and of itself. But there it is. Those are my favorite moments from Naruto in 2014. There were a ton of other badass moments that couldn't make the list. But despite that, they were all great. This was definitely, I think, the best year for Naruto content. And there's still so much more coming in 2015. So there's a lot to look forward to. But what about you guys? Do you like my list? Do you disagree with it? Do you have any top 10 moments from Naruto in 2014? Please tell me in the comments section below. And make sure to stay tuned. We are working on a ton of other awesome Naruto videos and anime and manga videos. Remember... Winter is coming up, and that means a lot of brand new anime, and I cannot wait to start talking about some of that. Stay tuned. We'll probably do a discussion video for that very soon. We're also working on the next Naruto movie review, and I know that we've been taking a really long time on those, but we want to make them as good as possible, and we want to make them really funny and snappy, and the next one is going to be really great because it's a movie that involves time travel, and Minato is going to be in it, and it's going to be in 2015, and you can already see the Back to the Future references coming. You see where I'm going with this. So just stay tuned for that. That's coming. A few other surprises. I'm also working on my next Bleach movie review. And we have a lot of their other cool side projects coming. So we're very busy here. But we're also very excited to deliver this content to you. And share it with you guys. Because anime is awesome. Naruto is awesome. And you guys are awesome. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you guys again for watching. Remember, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And remember, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking on the channel icon right up here. You guys can also follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. Happy New Year's, guys. See ya in 2015.